Hey, what's up everybody? Just gonna do a little video of the things that I got at LA Comic Con. I might put some stuff from LA Comic Con on here because I originally wanted to vlog uh, when I was gonna go there, but because of what I was doing, I was kind of in line, I was waiting a lot, not much to really kind of see off of that. So, just wanted to kind of put some stuff together and show you what I kind of got and got signed. I went just one day. Out of all the cons, to me, LA Comic Con is not one of my favorites, just because of how busy it is, and how much traffic there is, how much bad parking there is. For this year, I, I really wanted to go because there were a couple people that they actually had on their guest list that I wanted to go see. Uh, one specifically was going to be Natasha Borduzzo with the uh, cast of Ahsoka. Um, and the other one was Grace Carolyn Curry from Shazam and Fall. I shot some footage throughout the day and didn't know how exactly it would come out um, because mostly I was staying in line the whole time. So it didn't the footage didn't come out exactly how I wanted to. So I'll show you like clips in here and there. But uh, the first thing that I went to was the Grace Carolyn Curry. She was actually one of the nicest people out of there. When she did the autograph session, she took her time, she asked questions, and the cool thing was is that I brought this, this is my copy of Fall, this is the special uh, steelbook edition. I guess she has not seen it, so when I brought this up to her, she actually like looked at it because she never saw it, and she also showed uh, Virginia Gardner, who was next to her, the cover too, which was kind of cool to see um, them react to it. It's a cool movie, um, but I got the inside part signed. I got Grace, and she put her character name right on there, on the left side. And then Virginia, she also autographed my copy, because, I mean, they're both there, and they're the main characters of the movie. That's the main reason why I wanted to get this thing signed. And I think it looks even cooler. Um, the other thing that I wanted Grace to sign is her hero card. I started collecting some of these hero cards ever since maybe, like, last... Uh, no, since Comic-Con. Uh, I got this one signed. This is her hero card. I asked her about these particular cards because she told me that her, I think one of her relatives had this card. I just asked her about if she knew about like the whole mint numbering system on here. But the main thing on this one is that I asked her to put the number one because of course this is mint number 7,320. I just asked her, hey, can you uh, put the number one on here? <laughs> she gladly obliged to that, so thanks for... Uh, putting that number one mint on that for this uh, autograph card. So originally, I was going to get Natasha to sign this Sabine Wren pop. Uh, this one I got from pre-order from Amazon well, when it first released, because this is actually her on this one. There's a bunch of other Sabine Wren pops, but this one was from the live-action Ahsoka. I was, thinking about her, uh, I was thinking about getting this one signed from her. Decided not to. I left a little picture in there from the, her panel. Um, but, uh, I got this sign instead. This is my friend Tara. You can find her at Tara Cousin at her Instagram. She has cool artwork. I decided to get this one signed instead. When I took the picture with her, I, I also had her hold the art at the autograph session, have her sign it. I also gave her one that she wanted me to give to Natasha, and when she looked it over, she really liked the fan art. And then she also mentioned that she uh, kept her mole in there. I didn't notice it until she told me that she she kind of laughed that uh, she kept her mole. So overall, really cool piece. Holding the Loth Cat on there and then signed Sabine right there. Um, after that whole uh, that whole time doing the autographs and the picture. Well, me and my friend went to the panels. We kind of did the whole panel thing where you start from the very back and then eventually get to the very front. Uh, the Soka panel was the last one for the day, so I got to stay in during... Uh, I got to see some of the, the boys. <laughs> to see Matt Smith for a little bit. In Bronco. It's, right, it's yes. quite good fun actually. But you're up there for like 12 hours. So by the end you're like, oh my god. But... And as we were moving up, I got to go see the uh, Lord of the Rings panel, which was really cool. Got to see all the uh, hobbits on that one. 
So I gotta take a lot of pictures at the Ahsoka panel, which I'll kind of leave here and there, and some video from that. That problem is what? Oh. Oh, okay, so repeat the question. Oh, what, was the training, what was the training process for the lightsaber fight like? And did you make the noise on set? Or oh you... man, oh okay, so yeah, there was a lot of noise making on set, especially like coming from Ray. Like he would just always go, kind of boom, boom, boom. You can't really help yourself. It's, yeah, but um, it's, it was great. After taking the pictures and posting it up on my Instagram, the coolest thing, uh, Iman Esfandi, who, who plays as Ezra, he liked the picture that I put on there, so I thought that was uh, really cool. So yeah, that kind of ended my con, and I think it ended my uh, year of 2023 with the conventions it, it, on a good note. I uh, got to meet um, Virginia Gardner, got to meet uh, Grace Carolyn Curry, and Natasha Borduzzo, so can't go wrong with that. Uh, next con that should be coming up should be WonderCon, if I'm not mistaken. So I will see if I'll make a video on that. And yeah, hope you guys have a great 2023. And more, more importantly, have a better 2024. All right, I'll see you guys later. All right, peace out.